Hey, Matt here. I just wanted to talk about the crash dump logger. Um, I see a lot of times people posting that um, they were in the middle of a posting run and Scrapebox crashed. And they were posting to like 200,000 URLs and they don't know where it left off. Well, the crash dump logger writes a log in real time, multiple logs actually, of what's actually been submitted, what's worked through, and then all your URLs in case you hadn't saved them. So basically what we're going to do is um, to use the crash dump logger, we're going to go into Scrapebox, go to add-ons, show available add-ons. When it loads up the list here, crash dump logger, um, I've already got it installed, but you can go ahead and in just install it. And you can see down here the description, basically what it does is it writes three files. It writes crash dump poster submitted, which is all your successfully submitted URLs. It also writes crash dump poster master, which is all the URLs you're working with, so your entire list. And then it also writes crash dump poster dot text, and that's all the processed URLs. That means that um, all the ones that it had worked through. Um, so this is your full list. This is the ones that it had worked through, and out of the ones it worked through, these are the ones that were successful. So you could use these to, like, say, import this whole list into Scrapebox in the Harvester section up here, and then go to uh, Import and Compare, and um, compare it with this um, poster file, and that will take out all the ones that it had submitted to, and what you have left over is the ones you haven't submitted to. So we'll, we'll do that here in a second. Um, and then you can just read through here. Basically, now this is for when you're posting. It doesn't apply to anything else, just when you're commenting. So let's go ahead and close this. And um, we need to enable it. To do that, we go to Options and Enable Crash Dump Logging. And so then when we you load up everything and you start posting, it runs through everything. I just did a little sample run here right before I started the video and submitted some successful ones and failed and whatever. And so I then let it save off my um, my log. So it saves it in your actual Scrapebox folder where you have Scrapebox.exe. So if I open that up here, I can see these. These are my three files. The crash dump poster is everything that was run through. So that would be, um, in this example, the 110 URLs. It, this is the whole thing, the crash dump poster file. The crash dump poster master would be my entire list I had loaded up down here. And then the poster submitted would be um, the ones that were successful. So you can see here it said four successful. Uh, one of them was uh, a URL I didn't want displayed, so I deleted it, but it was in here. Um, so it saved the four successful here. So those are the three files, respectively. Now say I wanted to know which ones I hadn't submitted to so that I can go ahead and submit to those. What I would do is go to import and I would add the exact file here. So if I go in here and I add the master file, which is all of them, all the URLs I had loaded down here, and I go to import and select URL list to compare on and go back to that same one and take out this crate crash dump poster file this is the 110 that was worked through so if I do that it's gonna take out those 110 URLs and what's left I can then load up transfer down here to the blog list and comment to because those are the ones that I hadn't yet commented to um, this would apply to fast poster and slow poster alike so when the crash dump logger is running you'll see an icon down in your taskbar or thereabouts depending on how you have your settings set up look something like this. The, of course the brown icon I'm sure you've seen that scrape box. The green icon is the scrape bo box crash dump logger and that just means it's running and generally um, when you close down the instance it's associated with it'll close down this one and this one. When you start it up you'll see a little pop-up from this box that says that scrape box instance has been added to the crash dump logger. Some people um, have experienced an issue with the crash dump logger um, when they don't talk to each other and when you open up an instance of Scrapebox and you have everything set up right like the add-on is installed and it's enabled under options but it won't add it to the instance. 
Um, generally, there's just something messed up there in Windows, and if you just restart your computer nine times out of ten, that'll fix it. Probably more like 99 times out of 100, that'll fix it. So if you're having issues with the crash dump logger, restart the whole system, and uh, usually that'll fix it. Um, but then um, you'll always have that green icon down there running along with Scrapebox. And so that's pretty much the bulk majority of the crash dump logger it's pretty straightforward it'll log all of your results in real time so that if something happens and it crashes you can pick up where you left off